Uh, software development process. Why this has been one of my favorite courses that I'm even considering uh, to be a TA in later on. Coming up. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. Welcome back. Today I wanted to cover a little bit of my experiences um, in the SDP or software development um, process course. Um, it's CS6300 is the number of that course on OMSCS. And uh, initially I had my my uh, concerns with the class for the single reason that it's completely Java based, right? It's like I hadn't had too much experience with Java uh, before and I hadn't worked on, on a project with Java. Now, I've always said over and over again, um, the best way to learn any kind of um, any kind of technique for, or, or any kind of computer language is to have a project that you really care about. Right. So even like when it comes to gaming, I had worked on other projects, I had you know, worked with uh, other teams on other people's games, and I didn't feel as motivated at all as to when I had, I finally had my own project with the uh, uh, language learning game that I'm, that I'm still developing. That, that project to me, since it was my idea that I was trying to put out, I mean, think of the, um, the comparison with like a painter, right? It's like if you're always getting hired to paint other people's uh, portraits, right? It really has nothing to do with what you want to do. I mean, you're going to be motivated because you enjoy the, uh, the skill, right? But you're not going to be as into what you're doing because it's not, you know, now we're talking about, you know, commercial work versus uh, like fine art, right? Like something that you really feel, you know, passionate about doing. The same thing is, um, goes with, uh, with programming. When people want to learn a certain uh, technique or, 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 uh, or language, um, the best recommendation is going to be that. It's like put together a project that you really care about, that you're interested. The other uh, um, way to do it, of course, would be teaching, right? So it's like the more you're, you're into teaching other people how something works, how to acquire certain um, skills, th because you're breaking the system down, because you're trying to piece together um, concepts in uh, more understandable ways you're realizing it's like it's helping you uh, um, your brain process the material that much more so I personally think testing especially like for big tests is completely useless that's why the whole educational system that's based on these big tests to me it's like that's it's so antiquated and you know at some point you know <laughs> Once we have that neural link and it's connected, it's like all of that's going to go away because it's like, okay, you know, nobody has to memorize anything at, at, that, at that point. It's just, it's just not necessary anymore for uh, the kind of um, world we live in now where it's like we have so much information backed up. There's so much information that's coming out every day. You can't possibly memorize everything. It's just, there's, it's just not humanly possible anyway. So how to access the information and having an, a, a conceptual idea of how something works is much more useful and then breaking down certain skills in, um, in, in a high detailed fashion, that would be a very good way to uh, learn material also, right? So back to um, um, this course, back to SDP, what I found the most useful is, um, about this course is that they really do a good job of um, slowly, progressively taking you to harder, harder methods of, uh, of implementing um, your uh, your code with uh, with Java. I mean, you can technically use uh, um, uh, Kotlin, but it's most people aren't. Uh, um, we're just using Java in, in in the class that I took, and it's it was pretty impressive for me to go from not knowing what I was doing at all in, in the beginning of it to uh, I mean that that final project was pretty brutal. I, I gotta admit. I mean, basically, you didn't have the inputs and uh, uh, and uh, you could just see what the uh, what what the system what the test cases were um, um, were, were giving you right like you could kind of have an idea but it's like you really didn't know what what the uh, what the input uh, um, that they were using but you had to build the the, the, the functions to um, to pass um, I think it was like a eighty or ninety different test cases I, I'm not sure but it, it was 
it was pretty brutal, honestly. And it's, um, if they didn't kind of set you up for what you were doing in the beginning, it's, you would have no idea um, of, of how to proceed. So in other classes, they do kind of a stranger uh, um, kind of path, right? So it's like uh, uh, machine learning for trade is kind of an interesting one because like the first assignment to it just kind of, and then it just goes nuts, you know, t towards uh, project three. Um, and then it goes back down and then it's, it's they're, they're, the way they're gauging how much you understand of, uh, of uh, programming with Python is pretty strange, honestly, for a, a lot of the classes that, that I've taken before. Um, so I, th I think that's also why I have a pretty good comparison. And uh, even Kabai, it's like it, you, it's kind of pretty steady. And then it's like the final project. It's you know right after you've you know gone through the withdrawal. Uh, if you're like, should I keep this going or not? It's like it just goes nuts uh, towards the, the the final project also. So Georgia Tech has a way. That's why I keep recommending people. If you're not doing well towards the uh, withdrawal period, just just drop <laughs> drop quickly because. It's going to, you know, it's going to logarithmically get get uh, get more difficult towards uh, towards the end. Almost every single one of these courses that I've seen seems to do that. Um, and the interesting thing about software development process is before, I think it was even last year, and then the summer course they took they took away the independent project, right? So I mean, not, not the independent, sorry, the uh, individual project. So you could still even get by the couple of projects in the beginning. Maybe you could, you know, uh, um, do pretty badly in some of the projects in the middle, and then the team project would kind of, you know, if you had a team, if you were lucky enough to have a good team, you could still kind of get through the class um, rather unfazed without having a strong idea of what you were doing in, in Java or uh, with Android Studio. The way they have it now, where it's like even the summer course, you're basically like all all these uh, um, OMSCS classes, they seem to have done that, where it's like they would condense the class, make them simpler to uh, to go through during the summer. Um, and a lot of people would opt to take the same cl that class in the summer because, well, it'll be easier. Uh, so it's it's more intense because it's the three months. But they they were taking certain parts out that, that were making the the course really difficult because it was a shorter time period. Well, that's also gone through the, you know, uh, out the window. So now you're going through the entire semester within three months, and they're not condensing anything. So for somebody who's coming into it without any job experience, going through that summer course that would be pretty pretty rough. Um, I luckily had a, a, a pretty strong uh, C++ background, so there was a lot of concepts that were just exactly like C++, and I had a rather strong um, object-oriented uh, um, uh, programming um, background as well. So picking up Java and putting in the time for it wasn't that difficult, but then again, I can, since my businesses are completely automated, if I need to completely focus on, on a class, I can put everything aside and just focus on that course. A lot of other people don't have that. So if you're going through that class and you're, you're already feeling kind of shaky about it towards the, uh, the middle, I would highly recommend, I mean, you have to look at your grade if you're, if you're doing well enough, you think you can pass it. But that independent um, individual, I keep saying independent, uh, that in uh, the individual project at the end, that one can, I mean, that one's kind of merciless. It's like I, I like the last, I think it was last, within the, uh, within the last two hours of the deadline for that one, I finally got all my cases when I, I ended up getting the extra credit for that one. But, uh, but anyway, as far as the, um, the overall course, it's, it's a great class if you've never done any kind of teamwork. Also, that, that's another good one because it's, it's not a class that you can, kind of just give all the work to one person and, and learn nothing, right? It's like everybody's gonna have to kind of uh, pull together. I mean, I wasn't that lucky. I basically did the entire um, app myself, but um, there's other pieces of, 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 the, of, uh, of the group project that you know, the, the, other, um, the other students did. That it, wasn't, um, it wasn't really the coding that, that they were working on, so, but that kind of helped move things along. So it's like while I was focusing on, on the app, they were doing, you know, the diagrams and, and, and the, uh, they made it much easier for me to just focus on the app. Let, let me just put it that way. It's um, one of the students actually did a, a, a visual mock-up and um, the buttons were actually working, even though they were just graphics, but it's like he had like, he actually did uh, but So I could just see it. A lot of times, you know, since my hours, I'm, I'm, I'm working in uh, Southeast Asia time. So a lot of the hours uh, that I had were flipped compared to what, what their schedules were, because uh, the other three, uh, students were, were in America in, in America time 
Um, and I'll, I could literally just work on the app and I know exactly what we needed to do between the diagrams, everything, uh, all the write-ups and everything. So that actually was helpful to have them really focus on properly um, describing everything that needed to be done. And I could just work on the, uh, uh, on the program. So yeah, you, uh, you have to also understand Git, but I mean, just with the first week of Git, that's really all, all you need uh, to know. It's, you know, creating folders, um, um, uploading folders. They have this weird little diagram thing in, 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 in the beginning that uh, getting that exact diagram, I think I actually failed on, on that to get it exactly what it was supposed to be because it, it, they want you creating branches that's supposed to go over it, but then you're, it, it's like this weird inverted kind of uh, graph that you're supposed to do towards the end. That's just a small project. I, mean, I think that's like maybe 3% three, um, 3 of the overall grain. Everything else, you're basically applying um, Java into either Eclipse or Android Studio. So already knowing those two IDs will definitely help. And the more Java that you understand, um, the better. Now, that being said, if you already have an idea of Java, you can put in some time and easily, I would say, easily get a B in that class. If you really know what you're doing and, you know, this is just, you know, aside uh, um, one of the uh, projects that you're working on. Um, oh, let me rephrase that. If you have a pretty decent team, because these teams are picked at random. So if you have a team that, you know, everybody's helping out on, on each part, um, and then you spend the time, right, um, with that individual uh, project, I would say it's not an easy A. People say on OMS uh, Central it's an easy A. I don't think it's an easy A, but it's totally doable if you put in a, a time and you already have a background. Now, if you really have no idea of Java, you're just coming from like a Python or, or maybe no computer uh, um, uh, lang uh, programming language, and I have met people in that situation, and then you're trying to do well in this class, I mean, good luck with that one. I, I would highly recommend for you to leave this course for another uh, for uh, another semester or take another class. I've heard, I haven't taken it yet, but um, software uh, analysis and design, I've heard that that's kind of more of a, you can ease into some of the things that you're gonna be doing in, in uh, SDP. So, uh, but SDP, since it's, it's, it's part of a, um, two different uh, um, specializations, um, two different fa fa foundational components for it. It's um, maybe that would be um, a, a way to do it. if. if you have the time to take SAD um, first and then take um, STP. I'm not sure, but, um, or you could just take just a couple of weeks, a solid month of, uh, of, of training with Java uh, might get you there. But I mean, some of these deadlines are hard deadlines and it's, you don't have a, a lot of time. You're gonna be spending most of your time implementing it. Again, if all you, you know, have to do is just focus on the class, then it's like, I think you'd be fine. But if you have other stuff that you're working on, I think what, kills me so much on, on these uh, on these semesters is I'm working on other projects, I'm working on um, other business um, um, ideas where it's like my my main my main uh, businesses, my main projects are kind of running uh, um, in automation, but then I'm building other apps, I'm building other stuff on top of that. So it's like I'm kind of looking looking ahead with some other projects. And a lot of times I just had to put everything on hold to just finish up a, a, a course with, uh, with OMS ES. So that's another thing I highly recommend. If you cannot do that, if you can't put, if you just have a big family, uh, um, you have a lot of family responsibilities, if uh, you know, you're working full time and then you're doing, just take one course a, a, a semester. I mean, smacking in two of these courses, even if they're on the easier um, side of things, it's, it's they're just so time consuming. So many of these uh, projects and then studying for these tests, they just make it very, very time consuming. So if you don't have that kind of time, I would highly recommend don't take the, uh, don't take two, two courses in the, uh, in, in fall or spring. Cause even this course, like uh, software development, you can do that one and pair it up with another uh, uh, medium to hard um, course. Um, if you already have the background for, for Java, um, but it's still going to take a lot of time. I mean, that, that, that last individual project took a lot of time. And then the group project, since I was, you know, the main programmer for, for the, uh, for the app, it was that, that took, I mean, I was like two weeks I, I didn't do much else. So you have to take that into consideration. Also, it's like, how much time do you have to just, you know, allocate to one course or, or two at the same time? 
or you can just keep going for two a semester, right? And then uh, if you're not doing well, just you know um, drop what, the class that you're doing um, worse in, and then focus on the other one. That's also an option. But it is an okay class to to pair with um, w w with another one if if you have the, the job experience already and the other class isn't brutal. I mean, if you're doing something like machine learning or AI or something that just takes so much time, I would say just focus on those classes. This, I, I wouldn't pair it up personally with, uh, with this one. Anyway, so that's all I got for software development process. I love the class. The way it's structured I thought was great. The, uh, the, um, the professor has literally been the best professor I've seen in all of all mass. That's one thing I, I, I don't want to forget to, um, to talk about because um, at, at the time it was it, it was uh, Professor Alex and he literally answered every single um, Piazza post. I, I saw that every time I had a question from him, he would immediately respond. Not one of his guys, he would respond. And every post I would see at some point, he would address it in some way. I have not seen to date a more react, uh, responsive um, a professor on, on OMS. Yes. So and that made the entire process amazingly more enjoyable. Uh, there's some other professor I've seen that they kind of do a good job uh, um, you know, handling some questions and then the, the TAs take um, care of the other work. But I mean, hats off to uh, um, uh, uh, Professor Alex because he did a really, really good job at, uh, at addressing all concerns and just you really knew that he was there and present. Um, and, uh, in all fairness, I mean, other professors, I know they have other, uh, like multiple um, courses, so they can't, it's, it's just too much work to, to be on top of it. But I mean, you got to give credit where, where credit's due. So that was one of the, the parts that made um, SDP really, really enjoyable to know. It's like, well, there was a professor there that, you know, had your back that, that was there watching and, you know, trying to help you out where, where he could. Um, so yeah, uh, I would really like to uh, TA in, in, in that course um, later on. If I have time, which I've been saying that already for too many years, so I'll probably, I don't know, maybe, maybe I, I don't have time for it, but if I do, that, that would be a really fun one. Um, so far, it's STP, um, Machine Learning for Trade, and uh, EduTech, I think have been the most enjoyable. I really like the material. I felt like, uh, you know, I'd have a lot to, to share and uh, to help out other students with. Um, and that's for now. I still have uh, several other courses to, to get through, so maybe I changed my mind on some other ones. But um, yeah, SDP would definitely be one of them. I highly recommend it. And even if it's not part of your specialization, um, I mean, unless you have a lot of Java, uh, a lot of Android experience, and you've worked with a lot of other teams, then no, I would, I'd say you'll, you'll probably be kind of bored with, with the class. But um, if not, I would say it's a great experience. And I, I mean, you're always gonna learn in some areas, right, that you might not have um, been very familiar with before. So. Definitely, definitely a class I, I would recommend for people to take and a great starter course. It's um, SDP, maybe machine learning for trade. Um, and I mean, there's other easier ones, but it's like those two, I think are really, really cool um, courses to, to kind of start with and to kind of get you into the groove. So if it's your first course, I would recommend, you know, software development process to be like probably your first course. Every person I've seen, Taking that as a first course has seemed to have also enjoyed the experience too. So that would be my recommendation too. Cool. Well, hope it helps and I'll see you in the next one.